Hi everybody, welcome to my review of the Fluke T5-1000. Just want to tell you um, some of the basic features before we jump into the main bit of the video of what the device has actually got. So it's got four functions on the main switch. It's got the off, the voltage, the current and the resistance checker, which is also used for basically checking circuits you just buzz them together as well on that option and you've also got a hold switch as well which we'll explain later on in the video now the depending where you buy it from some kits come with two sets of probes some kits come with one set of probe mine came with the two sets so i've got that set of probes and i've got this set of probes as well i just wanted to show you that as well just a quick um, run through what he's actually got. This at the top there, that is called Open Jaw, and it's designed for easy current measurement, safe and easy to use. This Fluke T5 1000 will measure up to 100 amps without breaking into the circuit. Resistance, it can do up to 1000 ohms, and it can do up to 1000 volts as well and it's quite easy to use i'll show you in the video and it basically all you need is two aa batteries and the batteries last for some time quite a while i've had this for a number of months now and it's had quite a lot of use and the batteries are still perfectly fine as long as you put decent batteries in it you'll be fine i think it came with some batteries and i think uh, i just replaced them with some new ones that i'd got because you, you just get standard batteries with it so I've replaced them with, I think, some Duracells. But there you go. That's the Fluke T1 T5 1000. And let's jump into the main video now and look at all the features that this tester has to offer. So I'm going to start with how you measure the voltage. First off, you notice I've got it set to V for voltage. This is automatic. It doesn't matter whether it's AC or DC voltage it basically decides itself, it knows itself what the voltage is going to be. I've got a little standard 9 volt battery I just found in the cupboard next to it. So I'm going to test it now and see what it does. So there we go. You can see on the display it says we've got 9 volts DC. So I know that battery is working perfectly well as it should at 9 volts Obviously it's a brand brand new battery so I'm not expecting any less so that is absolutely perfect and that's how you do voltage. That would be the same if you were doing mains voltage as well. You just put it in on V and it will automatically detect it as an AC voltage. In this case it's DC because we're testing the battery. So now I'll explain how we test the current the amps. So basically we set it to A. On the meter dead simple we set it to a using the open jaw technology we find the mains live cable and we basically just slide the jaw over the top of that and we look at the meter and we say oh it's 1.4 i think 1.4 yes and then we take it off oh dear we've lost what it says on the display so what we can do then is put it back on and we can press hold and then take it off and then we can go, oh yes, definitely 1.5 amps is in use there. So now I'm going to show you how to test a resistor. It will test up to 1K max. So we put it on the ohm symbol on the tester and we put the probes on. And there we go, we can see that says 99. This is an actual 100 ohm resistor, so we expect a little bit of play in this resistor. But there you go, that's how you test a resistor. So this is how we do a circuit test. We set it to the ohm symbol and the beeping symbol. There we go. And we just do a circuit test. Just showing you on a key there. Which is basically metal. But you could just join the probes together. And you get exactly the same result. If I can keep my hand still. But yeah, you get the idea anyway. There you go. One thing that's very good with this meter is the fact that underneath you can slide the probes in and you can actually slide one single probe in like I'm showing you now and actually use it 
to uh, hold the probe in place while using the test meter which is quite handy because um, you've only got two hands and sometimes holding the probes and holding the tester at the same time can be quite difficult so it's quite useful that you can slide that probe in hold the tester in one hand and you've got the probe then so you can easily touch something it's held really good in place and then you've got the other probe in your other hand so you've got two hands then in use you don't actually need a third hand which is always handy and last of all I just want to show you for easy storage both your probes can just slide in the back of the meter like that and it keeps your probe safe if you're interested in buying a Flute T5 1000 then please check the links in the description below I put some links up there from Amazon that's got some great deals on the testers and of course you can buy things like the case and things like that which I recommend if you're going to carry it around in your toolbox and things like that so check the links out as ever thank you very much for watching this video please like the video subscribe to my channel for more videos and of course drop me any comments in the comments boxes below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching